every single day. You know, I when we talk about um, Eucharistic adoration, and I'm sure you've heard us talk about it before. Um, that is where we actually take the host that's been consecrated um, and we put it in this metal stand. Usually it's gold or silver, or, um, very beautiful, called monstrance. And we set it on an altar. And I know some places have what they call perpetual Eucharistic adoration, and the, the, the host. Jesus is exposed 24 hours a day, and people take turns in coming in and sitting in that presence for prayer. Here at the Basilica, we haven't kind of gotten to the 24 hours yet, but um, we do five days a week, eight to four. And someone signs up for an hour called a holy hour. Um, and it's, you, you can't get closer to praying with the Lord and being in His true presence in the Eucharist. So, you know, everybody on staff has taken an hour. I have one days, although I missed today. Because I wasn't at work. <laughs> um, <laughs> confession. Um, so everyone takes, you know, an hour. They take time to sit in, in the presence of, of Jesus. And it is the most, it changes your life. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. I've, I've talked to people, talked them into doing it. I've talked to a, a bunch of people in this building that we kind of kind of wouldn't let them out of a meeting hall one day unless they signed up for an hour to come over. <laughs> and, um, and these same people, I mean, these same people who have never ever done this and thinking that they could sit for an hour in prayer and not be bored or not be fidgety they come back and they say, I've never experienced such peace in my whole life. It is just something completely different and holy about being there. You know, it's, it's, it's different than being at home. It's different than being anywhere. I'm truly in the presence of my God, just sitting there. Um, there are countless books. I've read all of these. Um, 2001 Inspirational Stories of the Eucharist, Eucharistic Miracles, there's been miracles all through the ages attributed um, to the Real Presence. No wonder they call it the Real Presence Live Change. Lives Changed by Christ in Eucharistic Adoration. I mean, I've, I've witnessed it personally. I've witnessed it amongst people that I know. I've read books about it. Um, things change. When you commit to an hour or more of prayer every week in front of the Blessed Sacrament, things change. Um, Archbishop Timothy, Timothy Dolan just, just wrote an article about he was visiting some of his <coughs> parishes. And um, <clears throat> a parish that was truly, you know, didn't have any money and they didn't, you know, they were losing people and it just wasn't, um, it was just very kind of a, a, a dying place. And he came back to visit it and the place was bustling and they had ministries and they had all kinds of things going on. They had more money than they knew what to do with. And it was just like this complete switch. And so the Archbishop says to the pastor, well, how did you do this? The pastor says, we instituted 24-hour adoration here. We set up a chapel. We asked people to sign up for 24 hours a day. We have someone in front of the Blessed Sacrament praying. And because of this, all this stuff started happening. And that's only one story. I mean, there's story after story after story of things changing because you are dedicating real time to be with God. You know, you're not going home and saying, well, I'll pray for you. How many times do we say, I'll pray for you, and then we go home and we do our own thing and we really never pray for them. We never really even sit down and, and this is, you can't get away from it. I mean, there's Jesus right there. There's a story, um, I, I don't remember which saint it was, but there's, an old man that used to just walk into the church, peasant, poor guy, sat and just sat there. Pure of ours. Saint Pure of ours. St. John Vianney. And the guy would just leave. And the guy would come in and sit there. And, and every day he did this. And you know, finally, St. John says to this guy, what do you do in there all that time? And the peasant says, I look at him, and he looks at me. And you just look at each other in love. That's all he does. And, you know, how beautiful that, that you can 
don't even have to form words. You're just sitting in the presence of, of Christ. Um, so if you ever get a, a, a spare moment, um, you don't have to sign up for a whole hour, but if you ever get a spare moment, you know, it, we have the Eucharist there down that chapel um, five days a week. I did the last day. Did you really? I, I, didn't have, I had the day off for the holiday, so I did mine from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Yeah? Eight to nine. It was right. interesting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was it? It was like, wow. How? And the, the maintenance guy, yeah. he came past me with his little bucket. I, I didn't see him, but I heard him. And I was like totally in tune, so finally at 3 o'clock when I got up and I came back upstairs, he was like, is anything wrong? And he had a little security girl, she was there with him, she said, is something wrong? I'm like, no, I'm fine. And I'm looking at them like, no, everything is okay. Good for you. Because it was like when I got up, and you know when you walk down the, to go back upstairs, you get the floating sensation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You get, you get the floating oh, sensation oh, when you're... Yes. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, well, I was with, um, I think it was, it was a sister, or not, and, and, and two other ladies. But just to see how people are just so... It almost transformed. You're not even here almost. You, you, and it's, it's, it's wonderful. You know, well, of course, I've been before, but I mean, but every time you come, you, you do it. It's just, it, it, it really does something. It just, it just takes you away almost. It's really good. And everything's a little more brighter when you get outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's still cold. It's still cold. Yeah. Yeah. It's still <laughs> brighter, but it's still cold. <laughs> <laughs> Church and it was like 